What is Mike Adventures? A question that doesn't have any sort of answer at the moment, except for this video. So if you just wanted to know what my game is, or if you're just curious, or just like my content either way, then this video is for you. Also about half of the people that watch my videos aren't subscribed to me, so if you're kind enough to want to support me, you can always click the red button. You can also like the video if you liked it, or dislike it, anyways it's all your choice. So let's finally answer this question, what is Mike Adventures? Mike Adventures is a kind of complicated game to explain, and for one big reason, it's a multiple genre game. What is a multiple genre game? Well, it's a game with different gameplay styles, obviously from the name, but it's not like something, let's say Mario Party, where that's a mini game collection. All of those games are very small and aren't that fleshed out to the point that you could make a full game with it. However, with multiple genres, you have to flesh out those genres because otherwise they're not fun. Also, another difference, another key difference is that there are less genres in a multiple genre than in a minigame collection. And because of that, you could say that it's closer to something like Sonic Adventure 1 and 2, where each of the stories of that game play very differently from each other. Though unlike Sonic Adventures, Mike Adventures is more than just a fast-paced platformer and a fishing minigame. It's also an RPG or role-playing game in similar style to famous games like Final Fantasy or Super Mario RPG, a rhythm game, a metroidvania, and a beat em up. Each of these styles play differently, but some aspects of these genres remain kind of similar, like for example, pressing the key X is always your main action, as for example, jumping, talking to NPCs, hitting a bit, jumping, uh, jumping, but that's just the gameplay. What about we explain some more things, like the story? That's something that everyone would be interested in, right? Well, it depends on if you're playing one version or another. See, I planned this I planned this thing to happen where I would split development between a version that's already out and a version that will probably come out next year. Because people were were really demanded me for a for a demo of the game and fun fact, that demo is available right now. So if you want to play it, play it. And and that's the version that I will be focusing on. Maybe in the future I'll be, I'll be covering Omega Star Chase, which is the full game. But for now, I'm going to explain Round the World's story. Oh, if you didn't know, Round the World is the demo thingy. Yeah. Our protagonist wakes up in a blank space, but soon enough, he seems to be laying on some form of grass. Seconds later, a thing congratulates him in making it to this place called the Wonder Wand, which the mysterious figure now encourages to explore. We now have finally control of Mike, the main protagonist of this game. And yep, this is an adventure and this is a Mike! You have one level you can go at the start, it's the first level so nothing too shabby going on. You then go into the second level and yep, this is unfinished. When you complete the level, a rocket, a rocket takes off into space and the game ends? Uh, challenges for some reason. While this doesn't quite tie into what is Mega Adventures, it's still kind of the same realm. I mean, when you ask about something, you also ask how it was made, right? Our journey starts in 2018, minus seven years because it started in 2011. In 2011, I sucked at video games. I really sucked at video games. And the reason for that is because I was young, and I and then I asked me, I asked myself if I could in some way just cheat and get to the next level. The game I was playing, by the way, is Super Mario Land, really good game. Um, and then my father told me, no, you can't do that. The programmer said no, and then I was like, no, but yes, and then he was like, no, but no, and then he told me how to program. Yeah, that's my dad, he's a good guy. Anyways, was going a bit of track, but that's kind of how how I started to think about my adventures. It was an original cold 
Mike of Dangerous, it was called something line, uh, along the lines of Super Tario Brothers Adventures, something like that. It then changed in 2013 to the Mike Adventures you know today, except it didn't, because in 2015 I rebooted development. It was now called Mike Adventures Fight on the City, and it was awful, yes, but it was a learning experience. I mean, in this, I mean, I'm going a bit more depth on it now. Before I did it in a video that I made called my Spl my old Splatter games from five years ago or something like that. I didn't go much into depth because I was just showcasing them. But something I used to do in Splatter a lot of time ago was to do like a game every day. Yeah, that really didn't burn me out. I was in fact I had a lot of fun just making games daily. Yeah, and there are people who are who get stuck in five years for a, in a single game. Ha! Huh, I can't stand those people. Oh wait, yeah, and because of that, when Mike Adventures originally came out for Splatoon, it's why it really wasn't good. Like I can tell you, it's a freaking mess of ideas. It looks awful. It plays awful. It sounds decent. Yeah, for some reason my games have always had decent or good music, but anything else has always sucked. And yeah, there isn't really much to talk about Splatter and me, I just have me a bit of memories from 2015 to 2016 of that website. But yeah, now we're finally in 2018, except no, we are in December 31st of 2017. I started my channel in that day. Or for some of you it's actually... Well, depending on your country, it can either be December 31st or January 1st of 2018. Hey, you can tell me in the comments which one you got, but do that after you have watched this video because you have to watch this video. And I didn't really start developing the game until I wanted to upload things. I uploaded first three videos just as kind of a test. I left YouTube for like six months until I finally came back to it to start a trailer channel because I didn't know anywhere. Yeah, before I didn't know that devlogs even existed, so I just kind of threw a, tra a trailer together of my game that I have wor been working on. And and at this point, I had only six subscribers, I think. And here we are now, at 111 subscribers. I haven't uploaded in two weeks, and. Thank you for watching, subscribe now and dislike the video because